Typically, digital video files take up a lot of space in your hard drive. In this lesson, we're going to look at managing your media, how to archive your projects, how to free up disk space, and essentially general housekeeping tasks within iMovie. Exactly. iMovie can really be great for managing all of your media. So let's look at how we can do that. Mm -hmm. In addition to making and sharing movies and trailers, you can use iMovie as your video library to store and organize all of your media. It's easy to create and rename events, move movie clips between events, and even create separate libraries as your media collection grows. Events are containers for your media and projects, usually based on the date the clips were recorded. But you can organize your media and events in any way that you like. You can create new events to create separate collections of media. For example, you could import all the media from a multi-day trip into a single event. To create a new event, choose File, New Event. Events are named automatically with the current date, but you can give them a more descriptive name by simply typing right after creating one. To rename an existing event, select it, press the return key, and type. You can sort your events by date instead of by name by right or control clicking in an empty area of the library list. Let's return to name. You can also merge events. If you want to join two or more events together because they contain related media, select one, then command click the others, then choose File, Merge Events. Let's press Command Z to undo that command. You are free to move clips from one event to another in order to better organize them. Simply select the clip or clips that you want to move and drag them from the browser over onto the destination event. iMovie will tell you the number of clips you're moving. If you want to copy the clips instead of moving them, hold down the Option key before releasing the mouse. A green plus sign will appear to indicate you're copying. Let's do a move here. Now let's select that event. And there's the clips. Now we've already discussed in an earlier lesson that when you select a clip and press the delete key, it gets rated as rejected. But it isn't actually deleted. You can find it by filtering for rejected clips. Let's undo that and go back to viewing Hide Rejected. If you want to actually delete media from the library, right or control click a clip and choose Move to Trash. If this is the only instance of the clip, you'll get a warning that you are deleting the clip. Note that this action only deletes the copy of the clip inside iMovie's library. It doesn't affect the original clip that may be on your camera card or elsewhere on your computer. Let's cancel that. Events are contained in a library, which is like a master container for your events. iMovie starts with a single library, but you can create additional libraries, for example, to back up your project, or to move your media to another drive to free up space on your computer. To create a new library, choose File, Open Library, New. Give your library a name. I'll call this Summer Vacation 2014. By default, iMovie will always place your libraries into the user's Movies folder, but you can choose a different location to store it. Let's choose this connected drive and click Save. The new library appears in the Libraries list with a single empty event named with a current date. Let's rename it to Dive Trip. We could now import new clips into this library or move or copy clips or projects from events in other libraries. Let's select the original iMovie library in the Libraries list. Let's say we want to back up this completed project here. If we drag the project from the iMovie library into the event in our new library, it will be copied as indicated by the plus symbol. All the media that is in that project gets copied as well. Note the progress icon at the top right. If we now select the dive trip event, we can see that we have a self-contained backup of the completed project and all the media inside it on a separate connected drive for archiving. Let's undo that copy operation. The event is now empty. Let's say I want to move all the media from an event in the original library to my new library on that connected drive in order to free up disk space on my computer. I can select that event, 
click in the browser and choose Edit Select All, then drag the clips to the new event in the new library. Now, before releasing the mouse, if we hold down the Command key, instead of copying the media, we'll be moving it. You can see in the progress icon that the clips are being moved. When the progress indicator disappears, all the clips have been moved. If we select the original event, we can see the clips are gone. And if we select the new event on the connected drive, there is all our media. We freed up a lot of space on our internal drive on our computer, and we just need to make sure that this drive is connected when we're working on these projects. Finally, when you have multiple libraries, you can open and close libraries to focus on your current project. Let's select this library and choose File, Close Library. To open a library, choose File, Open Library. You'll see a list of recently opened libraries to select from, or you can choose Other and navigate to the location of the library you want. With iMovie, it's easy to organize your clips, back up your projects, and move and store media on other drives. In our next lesson, we'll look at how you can move your iMovie project to Final Cut Pro 10 to take advantage of its powerful features.